Oh, oh, it's just an act. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Classroom of the Elite Season 2, Episode 2 starts now. And the next special test is underway, but this time the groups are made up of multiple different classes' students. So, of course, we're seeing some conflict within the group. Really excited to see who the VIP is of each group. And apparently there's also a theory that there could possibly be two VIPs to balance things out. But I really want to get characterization for some characters we didn't spend a lot of time with, specifically K who we got to spend a little time with last episode. We got some characterization for her. And apparently she's been picking on some girl named Rico, which I have a feeling that was a misunderstanding, but I could be wrong. And at the end of episode one, she broke down in the shower. And apparently in the uncensored scene, there's a scar underneath her breast. So I'm very curious to find out what that's about as well. But hey, check it out. If you enjoy this content and you want to see this and many more in full format, and you want to help the channel out more than you already do by simply watching, then head on to my Patreon. The link is down below. So without further ado, let's jump into it. There are two main human sins from which all other derive, impatience and indolence. Okay. Very curious to see how that's going to relate to this episode, because it always does, right? <laughs> Koenji, bro. I was wondering, man. Bro, this guy's such an athlete, dude. He was swinging through the trees last season. <laughs> Pseudo. Ike. Yamuchi, I think the other guy's name is. There's Yuki Mora. And our boy Koji. Really? Really? They're saying Kikyo is one of the VIPs of the other group? <laughs> <laughs> My man's advanced nurturing test, Jupiter group test, attention students, the Jupiter group's test has concluded. The Jupiter group is no longer required to participate in the test. They will now have free time until all groups' tests are complete. Okay. I wonder who is a part of the Jupiter group. <laughs> Yo! My man, you're already sweating, dude. Yes, he is. He doesn't want to work with other people. Is this a joke? Yo, not for nothing, like, Koenji pulled the same shit at the end of last season, too. Where he just, like, pretty much disqualified himself so he can go back on the boat. <laughs> okay, it's some Susan, eh? <laughs> My man's... he's a wild beast, bro. He can do whatever he wants. Were they on the phone just now? Oh, they're outside. Okay, they're next to each other. On K, okay. Okay. I think there's something else going on, honestly. It's how you first judge somebody, yeah. Yep. The very superficial judgments. Mm hmm. What I just say, bro? It's all superficial. Yes, you do. So does Kikio. Season one, dude. Right. And she also is the class president's girlfriend, isn't she? All right. So our boy's still trying to figure out what to do with her. Of, of course. He's the popular one, right? Even though she's sort of bitchy. Yo, our boy Ryu in, bro. And Jack Dalbert. What well, just touches, like, grabs her hair, dude? No consent. This guy's wild, bro. I really want to see what this dude's up to this season, man. Okay. <laughs> yes, he does. Okay, Ryuin. Oh, you, you, okay. You say that? Okay. Wow. All these characters are smart, dude. He knows what the game's all about, bro. I don't know, man. They seem to be loyal to Ryuin, bro. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Any means necessary for Ryuin, bro. <laughs> he has it under control, bro. Hey, man, it's not a crime unless you get caught, right? I mean, that's not true, but if there's a victim, there's a crime, and the victims would be the people that got their cell phones taken. But they willingly did it. Even if he's forcing them, they still gave up their cell phones willingly. I wonder how he did it, though. Like, if he threatened them. Bro, 
Bro, he's talking about the three bottom classes getting together to get rid of class A, bro. Susan Lee's pride won't allow that. Yo, Ryuin is so dangerous, bro. He's such a menace, dude. I love it. Meanwhile, Coach is just silently observing this guy, trying to, you know, figuring him out and whatnot. So something happened to her in the past. Some kind of trauma. Plus, she has that scar. She just wants to protect herself. I'm a parasite? Interesting way of looking at yourself. I have an awkward walk ahead of me. Oh! The other one that wears a mask. Or lets her, uh, at least lets her anger slip. Because Suzade doesn't have a hidden side. That's why she hates her. <laughs> My man's like, see ya! Bro, she wasn't smiling there. Bro, she's up to something, bro. You never put it past Kikyo, dude. Plus, she was asking him before, would you choose me or would you choose Suzanne, right? So... I guess not, but you, I mean, I mean, you did put your finger, his fingerprints... <laughs> ...on a body of part, part, part of your body that you shouldn't have forced him to do, but you know. Oh, the teachers? Say, the drunk teacher, I don't know her name. Chi, her name's Chi, okay. She's a lush, bro. She likes to drink up, man. <laughs> After two weeks? Okay. Okay. Ten years ago? What happened ten years ago? No, I want to know what happened ten years ago, bro. I wonder if they were students here at one point, bro. Oh, you're not interested at all? Okay. <laughs> oh, Chie's a little, she's a little, a uh, little bit loose. Does things a little bit underhanded, it seems like. The guy's like, I don't want to report you. <laughs> Alright, the boyfriend and girl. Oh, that's Ich Ichinose. Talking about the people picking on K or Ki. Oh, it is Ki. Okay, I get her and Ich Ichinose confused, man. My precious classmates? I thought they were together. She should say your precious girlfriend. Oh! Oh, it's just an act! Okay, it's just an act. Because she seemed to have a little bit of something going on with that other student from Class A from last episode. They seemed to, like, blush at each other. A fake relationship, dude. Apologize for what? Yo, man, I really want to find out what happened to her in her past to make her act this way. Cafe latte? A little late to be drinking that, isn't it? Man, he was listening the whole time. You know he was, Harada. Stop. <laughs> you know it. You know it, dude. So Koji pretty much figured this out since season one, I guess. I see. Oh, they're very formal with each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. So she wasn't really that popular before that. There it is. I'm just a parasite, she said. Last night. He is protecting yourself. It's a self mechanism of defense for defense. <laughs> My man's very observant, dude. I like Koji a lot. Ayan no Koji. I know there's a character named Koji as well, right? Hmm. Yeah, why is he being so forthright with the info? From everything. Right, because of what happened there in the past. So she's been bullied this entire time. And I guess her dating him has helped her popularity skyrocket, like they said, and possibly quelled the bullying a little bit. 
<laughs> She's like, oh, it's just you. <laughs> then looks right back at her cell phone. The other one. Can't even say the dude's name. That was super fast. Resolved itself pretty easy. I wonder who the VIP is. Is it Ichinose? I gotta remember that K usually has her hair in a pigtail. That way I don't confuse those two. I forgot Ibuki's here as well from Class C, right? Class A students don't want to participate. Yeah, there they are, chilling. Machida, that's the guy that was blushing. They were kind of like, seemed like they had a relationship. He said he'll protect her, bro. So I do wonder if he, like, what he knows of her backstory. Like, for, you know, what what's going on with her. <laughs> Yuki Moore is not having a good time, bro. Oh, look how close they're sitting to each other. So they're really, they're dating each other, it seems like. Unless he's just parasiting and leeching off of him, just like Hirata. Of course, that's what they want. But I do wonder if she's trying to get information from him, maybe. Like, we don't know what Kay's whole deal is, like, what she's up to. Fourth discussion. They have, they're supposed to have six, right? Yeah, and Ichinose seems like she might be the VIP, but I don't think she is. But she keeps leading the group. Are they communicating on their phones? That's right, they don't. They're the ones that were bullying her. They're jealous of her. Are they gonna pull something here? They are. You gonna follow Koji? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Gotta keep your, your regular group members in line too. I wonder who she's talking to, like who she's meeting up with. Interesting that Yuki Moore is playing a little bit more of a role as well. We got a little bit of him last season at the end, but not much. They go into the girl's bathroom. Oh, they drug her into like some back room. Back to this again? Where the fuck is Rika? <laughs> you keep bringing up Rika, but I haven't seen her. Yeah, but you're... Now you're assaulting her, though. Oh. He wants to see how this plays out. Won't let her play the defenseless little girl anymore. So why do they believe that... He's not this mm. very curious to see how he's going to handle this situation because I do believe he's going to help her. So I really look forward to seeing what's going to go down with her character arc. But I would love to hear your favorite moment from the episode in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video.